I am going to lay down some real truth on you guys, some real proof of how Darian Gilliam fake falsely profiles people. He's accused me of being racist. Look, I have brown hair. Darian, if you are so in favor of only black people, then why don't you take a Sharpie that every driver is afraid to touch at a racetrack because they blow off their fans, and why don't you color your teeth in? So as a lot of you guys have noticed this past weekend, Jason Jacoby is unfortunately back on YouTube. The dude has no sort of interest to try and redeem himself, and at this point, he's officially gone off the deep end. Ignoring the whole situation or talking about it isn't going to make a lick of a difference. He's still going to be doing this crap day in and day out. He's posted multiple videos about me and others in the community throughout the weekend. I've contacted the proper authorities multiple times, and he continues to do this. So at this point, we're just going to have fun at his expense, but stay tuned towards the end of the video because there are going to be repercussions for his actions. The first video he uploaded about me is titled, Darian Gilliam, NASCAR's True Terrorist. Well howdy folks, just a NASCAR driver reporting from the pits. Uh, I used to pray for Bubba Wallace because it was hard to see him going through those emotional struggles. This is why Bubba Wallace and Darian Gilliam are brothers. Because they're idiots. They're stupid. They talk stupid, okay? He thinks anytime I mention Bubba in a bad way, <laughs> I'm a racist. Well, guess what? I'm not, brother. Even Dale Earnhardt Jr. shares Tommy Cook's wife with black people. I mean, again, you have to talk this way to reach a stupid people who won't wake up to everything they're being taught by you guys is complete lunacy and idiocracy. Cheers with, uh, you know, an ice cold cup of water for charity water helping people in Africa since I'm so racist, Darian Gilliam. Okay, that rant went all over the place and pretty much all of his rants end up doing that. So I'll try and break it down bit by bit the best I can. First, he goes off about me and Bubba Wallace being brothers. And then also he says, I've accused him of being racist, which he is. He said the N word in multiple uploads before this. And also just because people say bad things about Bubba Wallace doesn't make them racist. I mean, it's pretty clear as day to see that, yeah, when some people are being racist, towards him or not but if you're criticizing his driver ability and whatnot yeah that's totally fair he's doing this country voice because he's trying to appeal to nascar fans that he considers idiots i guess and finally the part where he says he's not racist because dale jr even shares tommy cook's wife with black people that that comment just threw me off entirely and then also the whole thing about this charity water stuff whenever he goes on these rants there always comes a point where he talks about eating healthier and whatnot like how Domino's is bad coke is bad and all that stuff even though he used to have Domino's on his freaking sim rig so while he's considered an extremely nutty person in general he's also a health nut the next video we're gonna watch is titled Darian's damages where he once again tries to play the victim and not take any sort of responsibility for his past actions instead it's all my fault in the uh, description of this video there's a blog post called Darian's Damages. So now I've had to deal with so many hateful people that I would have loved to speak lovingly to, but now they're hating me, so I can't even read their comments. I can't even converse with them. And I would like to commend Kenny Wallace for using the word nice, because all of us should be nice, but not only nice, we shouldn't be liars like Darian Gilliam. We should tell the truth about true health, about what we eat, because in the blog post, you will see how I was wrongfully treated, led me to being wrongfully injected. And that's why you can go back to the videos of when this channel first came out and you can see how I had a fat face because it's all about what goes into your body. People don't hate you because I made up some bogus lie. No, no, no. They hate you because they see you for what you are. A woman abusing, neglectful father, pedophile freak. You're 30 something years old. It's seriously time to grow up and take responsibility for what you did. I mean, again, it's crazy. In his mind, it's as if he's done nothing wrong, like the world's out to get him for absolutely no reason. But in reality, it's because of who you are. You got exposed for this and you should have been exposed years ago. And then the second half of this whole rant video is all about eating healthier. 
again, this dude is just all over the place. This comment is awesome. Darian didn't get a 17-year-old girl pregnant as a 27-year-old man or groom that same girl when she was 14 as a 24-year-old. But apparently, I'm the pedophile in this whole situation. The next video we're gonna watch is titled Darian Gilliam, Child Predator, Joseph Lombard's Best Friend. Hey everyone, hope my friends are doing great. As for Darian Gilliam, I'd like to reference him with Rick Crawford, Ricky Carmichael, and Joseph Lombard. Rick Crawford has evidence against him. Me, I don't, because I've never been a pedophile, never will be a pedophile, never looked up child pornography, never done anything against the law. For you, Darian Gilliam, you probably r goats. I'm sure Darian Gilliam goes to Black Sheep and f him. His mom loves to see him f people. So again, Darian Gilliam is a pedophile, a child Darian Gilliam, you're the ultimate pedophile, and you're even a worse pedophile than Joseph Lombard, who actually did something. So why don't you report on Joseph Lombard? Come on, pedo. Come on, pedo. Come on, Darian Gilliam, peddle that truth out there. T peddle the truth about Joseph Lombard and how much of a pedophile both of you are. Come on, Darian Gilliam, tell the truth. Tell the truth and keep worshiping, worshiping a stupid sport with rainbow colors, because you know what? You're also gay, Darian. Darian Gilliam is gay. Gilliam is gay. Gilliam is gay. Hashtag it. Gilliam is gay. Because he's an idiot and a liar and a slander and exactly the type of person that no one needs if they want to see goodness in the sport. So get rid of the pedophiles like Darian Gilliam. And some of y'all have the nerve to tell me I just simply have to ignore this. This dude is saying all of these lies and basically saying whatever he wants with absolutely no repercussions by YouTube. And what, I'm just supposed to let this stuff slide? The Joseph Lombard situation was absolutely disgusting as well as disappointing because I knew him on a personal level. I stayed at his house before. But when all of that stuff came out, I, as well as others in the community, completely cut him off. Everyone, including my Myself, called him out on social media and rightfully so the reason however that there isn't a video on the situation is because it's not ongoing once he was called out he left social media entirely and is now faded into obscurity and also talking with some of the women who were completely creeped out by this dude they requested that I would never make a video on the situation and I'm respecting that and also what the hell's with this homophobic rant you doofus like seriously why is being gay considered an affliction to this this guy. Whether you're heterosexual or a homosexual, who cares? You love who you love. And also, to end this off, this video uploaded on Christmas Eve, so while I'm trying to enjoy my happy holidays with my family, I have to deal with this crap popping up in my feed. But no, bro, seriously, just, just, just ignore it. It'll make the whole situation go away. Uh, obviously it's not. It's one thing to deal with some random comment being negative on YouTube or Twitter or wherever on social media. It's a whole different situation to be dealing with someone who clearly shouldn't be on the platform at all and who clearly needs to be locked up for life. But somehow, it's my fault for continuing to point out that this situation isn't finished. It's still ongoing. I would like to be left alone. I would love to just post racing content. But when this type of behavior has gone unchecked for years, someone eventually has to call it out. Maybe if some of you people actually called him out years in advance, then we wouldn't have arrived at this situation, now would we? But I digress. This next video is titled, Darian Gilliam Murdered John West Townley. Darian Gilliam, you contributed to John West Townley's death, whether you know it or not. See, I was slandered in the school system, which slander means murder, Darian Gilliam. So I hope your mom is proud for contributing to the death of John West Townley, because you have no idea how much your evil lies and slander hurt people including myself. Okay, slander means the action or crime of making a false spoken statement damaging a person's reputation. So in his mind, because I made a NASCAR bus John West Townley video months in advance before his passing, I somehow contributed to his death because he doesn't agree that he's a NASCAR bus. I... How can you argue with this logic, man? And again, he still has it in his mind that he has done absolutely nothing wrong and that everybody, especially me, is just lying about him. Here's another good comment. Boy, you sure showed him with your 15 frames per second camera. The last video we're gonna go over is titled Stock Car Stalking Stuffers Darian Gilliam. I, I, I have no clue either. Let's just watch. Now, one thing I need to tell you is that, as you know, Christmas, just like NASCAR, is a complete joke and a complete lie. And if your parents told you that Santa Claus is real, then they're like Darian Gilliam. They're a complete liar. 
And if your parents got you a die-cast race car for Christmas, this fake holiday, well, that's a lie too, because you shouldn't have that. That's an idol. That's an image. Go to the Ten Commandments. You should never have a die-cast. They're dead. They can't do anything for you. So stop following NASCAR, because it's a lie, and it's stupid, and Darian Gilliam is the exact reason why no good people are allowed in there because you are surrounded by liars, evil people. Again, NASCAR drivers, ooh, they got a lot. They got a big house and a big tree. But what, what is right outside my door? There's homeless people within this radius of two miles. People with no home to get into. Oh, but the NASCAR drivers can have presents, 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 presents for a fake holiday when they follow a fake point system and then they find about it. I just find it funny that this guy consistently preaches about hating NASCAR, yet he still wants to be a NASCAR driver so bad. Austin Olganowski, the first guy who exposed this creep, pointed it out perfectly. So he hates NASCAR, but simultaneously wants to be recruited into NASCAR, and hates idol worship, yet wants to be in NASCAR so people could worship him. Gotcha. And then he goes on to badmouth Santa during the holidays. Bro, don't you want to be a mall Santa so you can have kids sit on your lap, you sick freak? And also, he just continues to bring up the Bible a lot. He's not a real Christian, by the way. I don't read much of the Bible, but I'm pretty sure the Ten Commandments didn't include not owning a diecast. So even though this guy consistently posts this garbage on YouTube with absolutely no consequences from the platform, he is going to soon have to face consequences in real life however search jacoby i've done this before click on all click search and then both of his arrests will come up as you can see there is a motion to revoke bond so he is actually not abstaining from posting on social media i'm telling you guys right now when the cops see this i can promise you jason jacoby is going back to jail by posting videos on YouTube and also talking about his victim on his dumb website, he broke the terms of his bond and more than likely is going back to prison. You're not going to be able to have your mommy bail you out this time and you're not going to have much of a defense either considering that your other lawyer pretty much quit on you because you were absolutely insane. That's why my lawyer quit just because, I'm going to let you go in a second. He quit because, you know, he, uh, he kept calling me mentally ill and wanted me to plead guilty to something I didn't do on the charge of insanity. And so my mom started getting mad at him, my brother started getting mad at him. So like he was an uh, expensive lawyer and he just quit because obviously he was against me. So This grown man has been coddled by his family for years and now it's time to finally face the music. No more second chances, no more third chances, none of that dude. This time, when you go away, you will be going away for a very long time. Until that happens, continue to report his YouTube channel as well as his Twitter or whatever social media this dude is on. The pedo slash woman abusing slash absentee father Jason Jacoby is a menace to society and contributes nothing of value. Obviously, the stuff he has said about me and others are big fat lies, but it's still dangerous. Saying I murdered somebody, saying that I'm a pedophile like him, it's absolutely insane. He's just going to continue to try and make everyone's lives just as miserable as his, and it seems that all these rants are basically a last ditch effort to have something out there, I guess, before the inevitable happens. Him back behind bars. Anyways, that'll do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Black Flags Matter. Catch you next time. Great job! Great job!